Josh, to say that was a fantastic match is uh, an under understatement, and your contribu uh, contribution to this one today was incredible as well. Uh -huh. um, I think you said obviously their contribution because I was frustrated with, with Saturday. I probably had the, the most chances that I've ever had in a game. And listen, I've had day days where everything that you're hitting is getting blocked, it's hitting the post, and, and that was the case on Saturday. But I always back myself, told um, the boys, told the gaffer that I was, I was going to score tonight. Um, and I did, I believe, and my, my, com my confidence, my ability. And that comes to playing in uh, the formation that we're playing and the way we're playing football now. So I know we'll get chances, um, and I just need to keep believing in myself. And that party team came from the first minute, full out attack coming towards you. Uh, the first half must have been quite tough, because particularly then. Yeah, definitely, but I think we, we matched it, we went in, um, obviously two on up, um, we've done that and came out second half and, and been sloppy and conceded the goal, obviously they, they did make it to each, but we kinda, we've we seen that kinda out for five, ten minutes after they get the goal, and to be fair, the boys, I thought after that we, we kicked it up a gear and got what we deserved in the end. Take us through your goal. Uh, it was just kind of a bit sharp play. I can see Dippo in the box and the full-back's not reacted, so flung it over his head and Dippo gets it, lays it back. I think I cross it first and then it comes back out and then I thought I'll just hit it this time and I seen the gap and, and lucky enough it's an inside netting. Nothing lucky about it, I don't think. It was a great strike as well. Um, I've got, got to say that you, you had to face up to a team who, who just kept trying to bombard coming towards you as well. It's good to have a solid defence behind you as well. Yeah, definitely. I think um, obviously that's what Patrick's all about. I've got Brian Graham, who I've played with um, for years. Uh, I was suited to the big man, I always, I always tell him that. So we know what they're all about. Um, they played with the two big strikers tonight uh, and made it difficult for us. But to be fair, I thought the back four dealt with it and then also changed their back three later on in the game and, and dealt with it again. So I have credit to the back four. And you don't get much of a rest, do you, Air United these days? Straight out to our broth and they're no mugs. Yeah, definitely. I was just saying that there. They've got they've got a good side. I've played up there plenty of times. Everybody says oh, it'll be a battle, but they're a good football team as well. You see the goal that they scored on, on Saturday, it was wonderful. Um, so we know it'll be we know it'll be a tough task, but if we can kind of take this performance, that the energy that we took and take it into Saturday, um, hopefully hopefully we'll be okay. Nice to be able to say top of the league at this moment. Uh, but it's still it's still very early. It's just another three points uh, kind of where we want to go. But like I said, when I say three points, it's it's massive, especially at this time of the season, to pick up as as many points as you can and, and still be in a, it's still being about it around about Christmas time. So uh, it's good to be top. But uh, let's not kid ourselves on it's it's very early. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Well, Lee, three points, a fantastic match to watch, but also a bit nervous in terms of on the edge of your seat stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the turmoil that 90 minutes puts you through, the, the roller coaster, emotional roller coaster that it puts you through, whether you're a supporter or whether you're a coach or whether you're on that pitch and getting involved in it was, was unbelievable. And that's both sides, because I tell you what, both sets of players put so much into that game, and it really was... Uh, a great advert for the championship. Um, I'd love to have a little bit more control in the game, don't get me wrong, as a coach you look at it, but ultimately if we, if we win every game 4-2 and it ends up like a basketball match, then I'll take that all season. So, um, yeah, emotions are just coming down now, but uh, great, great victory, hard fought victory against a real quality side. Yeah, when you're talking about, was it 92 minutes to, to get the fourth? Yeah. And you're talking about taking the deep breath then, mm. and you're still worried about what could happen because they were throwing the ball at you. Oh, they were. They were. And, and, and Ian should be proud of his team. I know he'll be frustrated at not winning the game or getting something out of the game, but again, both sets of players deserve a lot of credit because of the amount they put into that game. And it could have went either way. Listen, we go 1-0 up and then we lose a goal within a minute, which is so frustrating. We go 2-1 up and then we lose a goal within two minutes of the second half. And you're thinking, come on. We go 3-2 up and you're, and then I think our substitutions had a massive, massive impact in the game. At the right time, we needed that extra bit of legs and freshness and um, we had to go from a more offensive sort of look to a more pragmatic thing with the introduction of Big Sean was outstanding, he's come on. Uh, his defensive heading and, and just helping shore up that back line was excellent. Sam and Mark were brought on to do the hard yards, the dirty side of the game, um, defending from the front and needed them to do that and, and I hope they realise the importance of the roles they were asked. They probably didn't enjoy it a great deal, but the importance of that role that these two played in that in that victory was was second to none. And um, there's going to be games we do that, and there's other games we'll, we'll chuck on Jaden or Dara if we're chasing the game and uh, things like that to go and win a game. But there, sometimes you get games like that where you just have to get through it and see it out, and um, they were outstanding. 
you were talking there about Sean McGinty, the header off the line. I mean, that ball was straight into the net, and he got right there and got a header away. And you're, you also your substitution, uh, you had uh, other players. Aye. Your forwards, Mark McKenzie, Mark McKenzie well, deep yeah. into your penalty area, yeah. defensive headers. Well, that's the type of game it was going to have to be. You're going to have to roll up the sleeves, grit your teeth, and get blocks, get tackles. Because, tell you what, Partick did it at the other end as well. They really did. So, um, yeah, it was that type of game. It was a, it was a brilliant game for the neutral, I would say, but a heck of a stressful for uh, for either uh, technical area. Yeah, it was a great game to watch for, for fans, but, it, but with you, you had a whole lot of players out there that did well, I and mean, you're seeing your substitutions, uh, Mark McKenzie coming on, getting mm -hmm. that strike mm -hmm. into the yeah, that will do him no harm. Delighted, delighted for Mark, because uh, he tends to get a bit of a hard time from certain sections of the support, and I don't understand why, because he wears his heart on his sleeve and does everything. Sean's similar, but listen, I've, I've had five or six really good conversations with certain players this week who are desperate to be involved, who have maybe not been involved over the last... They've come knocking on the door and they're, um, as I say, yeah, desperate to be involved. And, and, you know, what it told me was the the character and the culture we've got in the change room. Because watching the back of the heads as they went out of the office, I looked at them and I thought, these guys really have the back of their teammates. They really have the support of their teammates and or are supporting their teammates. They're disappointed they're not playing, but they are desperate to be involved and take part and back their teammates up. And listen, the squad will get opportunities and that's the sort of message I try to give them, not to get overly frustrated, even though results are going well for us relatively at the moment. They will get opportunities throughout. People will get injured or suspended, but um, no, uh, th these five or six lads that I spoke to really set the tone of this week in, the, in relation to how desperately they are to, to support their teammates or play a part in games and three of them got on there today and had that positive impact there's three or four they're also desperate to get on and they will they will get opportunities at times. Final question Dippo came off after a, a little head knock there and seemed to be a bit out of place is he okay? I think it was an accidental sort of oh. I think an arm's gone up and it's just caught him right in the eye so he was blurred in one eye Paddy Redding had one two or three games ago very very similar so listen I think the big man was starting to blow a little bit as well his legs were starting to go he worked his tail off him and Brad up there but Brad kept going and there was a little bit of worry with Brad's yellow card in that first half. Is he going to get through there? Because he's a tenacious wee bugger. Um, but he got through it and Brad's looking really fit at the moment. He's causing problems for teams. But Dippo just come off because he got a poke in the eye and it, it was difficult for him to see out of one eye. So he's fine. Thanks very much. Thanks, guys.